Plunkett Homes welcomes you to the Eagle Bay, a home for bringing people together. With a frontage of 40 metres square, the Eagle Bay's flawless design means that every space is used in a clever way. The open plan living kitchen and dining space creates an interactive and functional family area, with the kitchen being the hub. The kitchen is flanked with two island benches featuring Essa stone waterfall bench tops so the whole family can be involved in meal preparation. Enter through the double designer doors into the feature entry complete with a raised ceiling. At the final inspection you get to take a look at your completed home to make sure you're happy with all the details before we hand over the keys. Well now that the slab is complete, the next step is the brickwork. Your home will really start to take shape. Our team will of course be in touch with you to keep you updated and I'll be in touch very soon to tell you exactly what's been happening. So we're almost finished and we now expect to be able to show you through your brand new home. In the months leading up to the construction of your new home, our builders have worked hard to ensure your home is constructed to the high standards that come with every Plunkett home. It was drama from the beginning. Uh, the minute Roxanne got out of the car to walk towards us, would you believe it, the sky opened and there was a massive downpour of rain and I was going, no, no, get back in the car. And the minute, <laughs> Roxanne, you got out of the car, there was a oh. huge downpour and somehow the cake has managed to it survive. Has. Now, Thank of course, goodness, there's a few drops, but it's okay. Water and rain is fond of its worst it's, enemy. It's not a good thing if it gets too wet. Not what we need at this time, the timing's right off. <laughs> no. Alrighty, so whether to put the umbrella away and do a dash or whether to keep the umbrella is the question. Oh, we might just, we might just check it. Check yeah, it. Check it and then we'll make a decision from there. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. Cool. We can do it without the okay. um, umbrella. Thank yeah. you. Right. <laughs> I am here with the wonderful Lord Mayor of the City of Perth, Lisa Scafidi. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Really well. Now already it's a very glamorous night, isn't it? This is a fantastic night. Over the last few years I've seen this event grow and grow and it's a very prestigious prize now. It's the second largest portraiture prize in Australia and people are starting to realise that in spades. Once again, it is a wonderful pleasure to speak to the Commissioner for Consumer Protection, and Driscoll. What a wonderful day at the awards again. Thank you, Christy, and thank you for being here. Now, when we talk about consumer protection and these awards, it isn't just about scams, is it? For us, it's just critical that consumers, when they're out shopping, say, no, 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 that's not quite right. I know what my rights are. And that, of course, serves to just completely uh, reinforce and make sure our laws are abided by. Julie, your husband, Brendan, does have an artwork in the event tonight. Let's talk about that. Um, have you seen it, Christy? I have seen it, yes. It was a little confronting for me, considering I know Brendan. <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> Were you impressed? I was impressed, but I felt... I felt... I needed to step back a little bit. It was a little personal. It's, it's slightly personal. It's a little uncomfortable for me walking around knowing that all these people are seeing my husband naked. But they, I think they like it. Good evening, Brendan. Good evening. Nice to see you. Now, a lot of people have said that your entry in this competition has been a little brave. What do you say to that? Um, w well, it's, of course, it's... Um it's a portrait of another person, another persona, if you like. Even though it's really a self portrait, it's a statement on ageing with all of its faults. And so I don't know that it was that brave. You know, it's a, it's a comment on growing old, growing curmudgeonly, being cranky, as I am, as he is, and, and seeing myself in a mirror thinking, well, cheer up, you old bastard, and putting a smiley face on it. It's as simple as that, really. Well, Brendan, will we see another entry from you next year? <laughs> Uh, yes, but I'll keep my kit on, uh, unless you're posing for me. Well, I, I will think about it and I'll get my people to speak to your people if that's okay. You're on. Roll up, roll up. Welcome to another episode of Undercurrent. Here at Undercurrent, we think there's no better initiation for our brand new reporters than to send them out on the streets to talk to you. I have been uh, bombarded with feathers. It's been a lot of fun by all my friends here. with over two tonne of feathers descending upon us here in the city of Perth. It was bound to happen. This has been a truly wonderful event, enjoyed by people of all ages. And with so many feathers around and taken home as souvenirs, this is one event that is sure to live on for days and days and days. And I know in the past, Perth has been called the city of lights, but this evening it is certainly very much the city of feathers. 
I don't think this was a very good idea. I thought Feather Angel would be nice like Snow Angel, but it's not that easy to do. This is Christy Monica <laughs> attempting to sign off. <laughs>